Well, for some, Sunday's Super Bowl marks the end of the football season. Not here in Kansas City. Our brand new arena football team will take the field next month. In a story you'll only see here on 41 Action News, Belinda Post explains how the Phantoms are bringing local talent back to Kansas City. And Belinda, I used to play in college. Do they need an out of shape wide receiver? <laughs> Man, I love it, Patrick. Okay, so actually we are here at the 68 Inside Sports Training Facility in Overland Park, and that's actually where the newly formed KC Phantoms will start their work in a matter of weeks. Now, I caught up with a lot of the players, and what they tell me is they're most excited to do something they love in the place they call home. Arena football is back. When the football season's over, people want a little more. In September, team owners Dr. Ken Vihek and Antonio Ori, along with former Chiefs offensive guard Will Shields, announced the formation of the Phantoms. That was just the news KU senior Frankie Sire wanted to hear. We're just a bunch of dudes out here who just can't get football out of our system and just, uh, enjoy playing and want to be here. Sire started with flag football as a kid, became a high school standout on Olathe South State Championship team, and just this past November wrapped up his college career with the Jayhawks. About halfway through college I got switch, switched over to safety and I wanted to get back playing quarterback. And now he's getting that chance as a professional with the Phantoms. While Truman High School grad OJ Simpson has played on other arena teams, he's thrilled about being back in KC. Just blessed to still play this long and, and I'm really thankful that, you know, the team's back here. Simpson is also taking the opportunity to give back to kids in this community, specifically at-risk youth. They see you look up to you as a role model, uh, you know, you kind of use that to kind of reach them and, uh, you know, build some rapport with them. The next challenge, both Sire and Simpson need to get through training camp cuts and secure their spot on the team. Yeah, when all of that goes down, there will actually be 24 players seated on the bench, 22 actually play on the field. Again, if you heard, right now there are 35 people on that team. So, Belinda, how many games will they have and how many will be here? Well, that's a great question. Their first game will actually be at SEC Arena in Independence on March 13th. They have 12 games. Six of them will be at home. And, of course, if things go well, there are a couple options for playoff games. In fact, maybe they can pull in Fazio for those. I don't know. I, I took that as a no when you didn't answer my question <laughs> earlier. So I've already been cut. I didn't even try out. I've already been cut. I didn't answer it right off, but, you know. <laughs> I know, you, I know Belinda. what you're saying. Just stay there in the seat. He Fazio. took the hint. Thank you, Belinda.